Good morning everyone, this is Rajiv and thank you for joining us for this webinar on Adware. This webinar will be taken by Ms. Soumya Patnaik. Uh, she holds a Master's in Communication Studies and heads the content team of Quick Hill Technologies Limited. She has several years of experience in cyber safety domain. She has conducted numerous workshops on cyber safety for school and college students, teachers and parents. She has also counseled parents and teachers on cyber safety. She trains and guides the in-house team of conducting cyber safety workshops across India. As a part of the Quick Heal Cyber Safety Initiative, she has created the Quick Heal Online Safety Guide Book for Kids. She has also contributed, she also contributes cyber safety related articles to the Quick Heal blog. Now I'll hand over the mic to Soumya and I wish you have a good webinar. Thank you, Rajiv. Hello, good morning. Uh, so today's webinar is about adware. Now we will be covering uh, various topics. We will be discussing what is adware and uh, the techniques used by malicious adware, how you can differentiate between annoying adware and malicious adware, then how it affects your privacy, how to stop malicious adware, and lastly we will cover how a multi-layered security solution like Quick Heal protects you from adware. So let's begin. Now what is adware? So you must have come across uh, a variety of annoying pop-ups, some with unwanted advertisements on your computer. Now such pop-ups are displayed by software that are known as adware. Now adware are not always malicious but they can be extremely annoying to the user. Most of them look like this. Now, what are the techniques used by malicious adware? So most, of, most types of adware are not only annoying, but they are also, uh, you know, they can also cause harm to your computers and laptops. These type of adware, this particular variety, are generally known as spyware, software that can steal very confidential and uh, sensitive information without you actually knowing about it. So, but before we proceed, let's take a quick poll. So now there are different types of uh, adware. Oh, we are getting a lot of answers regarding that. 77, 78% say that, I'm not sure. Okay, so now when we're talking about polls, let me also tell you that there's a new term in adware, which is uh, malvertising. And uh, I think we have received a lot of answers regarding that. And yes, Almost 69% of people have voted for no. So yes, coming back to malvertising. Malvertising is now uh, a new trend which is uh, surfacing, you know, on the online market. It is a technique basically uh, of inserting malicious advertisement into a genuine advertisement and web pages and is used often for delivering other malicious content to the systems of victims. 
So let's let's move on to the techniques that are used by malicious adware. Now malicious adware performs a series of operations in an infected computer or a laptop. Now these often include installing unwanted files on your computer without knowledge tracking your movements on the internet and collecting sensitive information like pa passwords bank account numbers credit card details keystrokes email ids etc and then sending the stolen or collected information to an external server now this server is mostly controlled by a hacker it also it, it can also install additional malicious software on the infected computer it can redirect web browsers to unwanted sites that are usually infected or fake wherein you might be you know it these sites can prompt you to download anything malicious or might, they might also prompt you to enter sensitive information they can also they they can also change your default home page and reduce the connection speed so by this we can actually understand that adware can have an adverse effect on your online browsing activities also consume a lot of your bandwidth now before we move on let's take a quick poll so when you see a pop up that asks for an annual visitor survey for youtube viewers from india what do you do so do you do you say uh, click on not interested and take the survey or uh, click on interested and take the survey and or ignore the ad completely we are getting a lot of answers for this okay so we have almost we have almost there's a lot of people voting uh, there are about 15% saying that click on interested and take the survey now most of you are right you should actually ignore the ad completely Now let's try and understand how adware affects your privacy. Adware affects your privacy by recording your internet activity. It as I already pointed out, it can also uh, track your sensitive information like credit card information, your date of birth, your account numbers, your uh, addresses and all that anything that could be linked uh, you know that that is sensitive and that can be used by third parties uh, uh, for a malicious um, action or anything uh, for a malicious act and this can be done without your consent or without no your knowledge so how do you actually block adware now you can stay safe against adware by there are a few tips you just need to take care and be careful and cautious you need to be aware before you click anything now let's just go through the tips one by one first and foremost never install free software that does not have any kind of verified publishers so if you find a free software and even from you know we have the tendency of downloading a lot of free stuff just because it's free uh, that is something that could it could be packed with something malicious and it could uh, come down and it could affect your computer it could take down as we have already pointed out a lot of ways it can infect do not click on links in an unknown uh, in unknown or unwanted emails now you don't know who has sent you an email and uh, but you find an attachment to it or you find certain links in that email just because the subject line appears to be uh, very catchy or attractive does not imply that it's a genuine email 
before you click on any link try and see if it is actually from a bank mostly these links are from banks uh, and fraudulent or very uh, popular media like facebook and uh, you also get a lot of uh, emails uh, as far as spam is concerned so always do a background check click on these don't click on these links don't click on any or open unwanted emails you never know what you might download do not download file attachments again that come with unknown or unwanted emails do not respond to any unexpected ad that pops up on any website especially if it talks about a prize or a lottery now often we go visit a website and there's a banner ad which says okay you have won 100000 uh, you know 100000 dollars or you are the lucky 100000 click here to win a prize now these are the most common types of um, ads or pop ups so please do not click on that beware of online notifications that ask you to download anti spyware programs because usually what happens these are scams or these are fake uh, software that uh, again might run any kind of background applications to control or to monitor your internet activities and to steal sensitive information it could be anything they can send this to the uh, malicious authors or to an external server and that can be used against you always do a bit of research about software and its publisher before downloading it especially if it's free we are not saying uh, that any kind of free software is uh, you know could be malicious but before you download be doubly sure if that comes from a verified source or if there are other reviewers talking about it uh, you know there are a lot of authentic review sites where you can search and you can find out if the publisher is authentic and if the software is non malicious turn on the pop up blocker of your browser it doesn't matter if you are using an internet explorer mozilla or firefox uh, or chrome uh, you can always uh, search for how you can uh, enable your pop up blocker on your browser you can google about it and most importantly you need to protect your computer with a security software that comes with an anti adware feature now this covers almost all the ways you can uh, safeguard your pc or laptop from adwares now before we you know uh, before we proceed let's here's a here's a quick question So you have come across that software program that you want on a torrent's website but there is no verified publisher so do you install it so i'm seeing a lot of responses here coming in okay so so we have almost 80% of people who have voted saying no yes that is right you should not install any kind of software program even if it's on a torrent website if it's free and it does not have a verified publisher so coming back now a multi layered uh, now a multi layered security software is usually the best way to protect your pc and laptop let's take an example of quickheal an advanced security software like quickheal and how and see how it protects uh, our pcs and laptops from several in several ways
So Quickie blocks fake and malicious sites that are usually known for installing adware and spyware on the user's computer. It also blocks emails that carry links or attachments that again might contain, you know, any kind of uh, malicious software like spyware or other types of malware. Nowadays, we have a lot of reports coming in or a lot of incidents coming in of ransomware. Uh, so a lot of ransomware attacks happen because uh, of pop-ups or unwanted pop-ups and people clicking on those pop-ups. Or, uh, or advertisements of free software. So please verify the author. Please understand that if you're getting a flashing pop-up saying that, okay, your computer is infected, it might be untrue. If you have a security software installed, then it takes care of all these things. Quick Heal's browser sandbox feature uh, also protects your computer from uh, spyware, even if it gets automatically downloaded from any website. Now, I'll give you an example of how this browser sandbox works. Now, we see, uh, you must have seen uh, kids in the park, they have a designated, you know, they have a <clears throat> restricted area where there's a lot of sand and uh, the sand can't spill out of that area or uh, we have uh, sandboxes for kids where they can play and they can build their sand castles and everything and nothing spills out of it. Browser sandbox works in a similar manner in your virtual world. Now, so whenever you enable the browser sandbox, your website opens up in a secure area. So, and whatever gets downloaded, even if it is malicious, it stays, the sandbox prevents it from affecting your hardware or software. <clears throat> Quickheal also has an inbuilt anti-spyware feature that detects, cleans and blocks spyware and other malicious software. Now, we have reached, uh, we have come to uh, you know, we have covered almost all the topics uh, consider, you know, around adware and before, but before we conclude, I would like to ask another question. So adware and malicious ads only affect Windows users and not Android, iOS or Mac users. Is it true or is it false? That's great, we're getting a lot of responses. So yes, we, we should not think that only, you know, Windows, get, Windows OS gets affected with adware. We, there are also, the other platforms are also vulnerable, especially if they're unpatched. Now, Thank you so much. It was great uh, to have you as an audience. And thank you so much for participating. Now, so if you have any queries regarding this webinar, here's how you can get in touch with us. You can write to us at corporate communications at wiki.co.in. You can also follow us on our Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, SlideShare um, sites, or you can visit us at wiki.com. And also we also post a lot of information on our blogs. We have a lot of security discussion happening on our official blog that is blogs.wikil.com. So you can drop us a question or your queries there. Thank you again. Thank you so much for attending this webinar. Have a great day.